We're gonna go ahead and configure our controller really quick. This is Weird Dirty Gaming's 64 gigabyte image. And, uh, you know, he won the last third, my top three 32s. And here we are, you have the 32, but you've expanded it to the 64. And uh, I will be doing my top three 64 gigabyte image images soon, but for the meantime, uh, I got this one here. And uh, I have a feeling that this will probably make the list. Now, um, let's uh, check this out really quick. Let's see how many games it has total. Just so you know, the, the 32 gigabyte, I'm so impressed by it because you can, you can hold 9,000 games on a 32 gigabyte. So I'm really curious what this is. Let's see. Okay, so <laughs> it only has an extra 1,000 games or so, maybe a little less. But you have a lot more. Like uh, I don't think the other one has Wonder Swan or Wonder Swan Color. Not sure if it has Vetrex or not. Sega CD has been added. I believe this is all new. So you got your Dragon's Lair, Earthworm Jim. Um, still no video snaps though. So it does it PSP minis and PSP. You got Zuma. Got some PSP minis. PlayStation games. Some of the classics. Nice. Okay. So let's just go through here really quick, check this out. As I mentioned, we're doing a game that makes some pretty good stuff, so I have high expectations for this. Amstrad, CPC, you got 22 games. Looks like it's just the, um, no metadata, but it does have the, um, the logos to the games. Arcade, you got 2158. That's quite an arcade collection. Atari 2600, 648. It's 5200, 50, uh, 71, not 52. 7863, Game & Watch, 55. So you got the screens there. Game Gear, 249. Game Gear Hacked, 4. So things like Sonic Drift. There's no art artwork for those because they are hacked games. 490 on that. Game Boy Advance, this is the whole collection. So it's, so far, it looks like it's all the games for each system hacked. You got some uh, hack games here. Game Boy Color, 528. Game Boy Hacked, 19. Sega Genesis, I do like that it says Genesis instead of uh, Mega Drive for us in the US. You got the hack games, 191. Those are often fun to just play around with. Some of them don't boot though, just so you know, or they have issues with, but I mean, I'm sure you're gonna find some gems in there if you, if you spend some time. Sega Master System, good stuff. You get the box art, the logo, and the JPEG on the Genesis. Uh, no video snaps though. Sega Genesis 810. Again, it says Genesis, which is nice. And it looks like you got box art. MSX, 649. Box art, quite the collection of MSX. Nintendo 64, all 303. You get the box art. This is a nice, um, it looks really good. I really like the Nintendo 64 here. It looks really good. Okay. Uh, Nintendo DS. It's always great to see an image with DS on there. There's a lot of great games for the DS. And there you go, missing a box art there. Neo Geo 138, that's gonna be your Metal Slugs, things like that. You can search really easily if you wanna to get to things, you know, you wanna to get to Metal Slug. You got one, two, and X. Okay, so missing three and four. So do know that. Nintendo, all the Nintendo games, similar setup to the N64, box art, logo, JPEG. Hack Games, Legend of Zelda Outlands, Mario Adventure, Mega Man and the Mushroom. DOSBox, nothing, it's just the install files. PC Engine, 303, same setup to the Nintendo. Pixel, if you wanna go onto the desktop. Ports, if you wanna to get to Pixel or Kodi. It's kinda of redundant to have ports. Uh, PSP, you got Zuma. PSP Minis, you got 10. You can add some more very easily. PlayStation, we saw those earlier, 25. Config 32X, 33, that's all of them, Sega CD 25, Sega SG 1068, SNES 786, 37 on the hacked games, you get some interesting ones in here as well, Triple Graphics 1694, box art there, and Vetrix, you got 15, box art there, Virtual Boy 8, box art, Wonder Swan 40, box art, Wonder Swan Color, box art, and then all games, one, 10,000, you got your favorites, and you got your last played. What's he been playing? Okay. 
Let's um, load a game just to make sure we're good here. Check out the hack games, huh? Sunset Riders, great game. A lot of arcade games. Arcade, 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 all arcade. Okay, SNES. Let's just load one. I just want to see, okay, so you do get a loading screen. Cool, you got the bezels. And as far as shaders, okay, well you see it's working, right? <laughs> we go to the north wall, wherever, okay. Okay, we can try a Crash uh, PS game, Crash Bandicoot, custom loading screen. Oh, I died. <laughs> you got to watch your spin moves. Okay, so there you go. Let's just go ahead and really quickly, it should be on our most recent boot, and I want to see, okay, so you do have background music scripts. You do have the add a hard drive script, the GPAO shutdown script. You can get into your bezels really easily. And it does have the Team ZT installer on there as well. RetroPie setup, let's go ahead and check out what version it's on. And I also want to show you how much available space. Okay, so 4.3. And then lastly, I like to see you know available space just because um, a lot of people want to know, you know, especially with the 64, I think there's going to be some extra space left on here. So let's go to file manager. Yeah, see, I still have 2.5 gigs left, is that right? The actual file size, by the way, when you download 47, and then the, the image itself is 58.4, as far as for your SD card needs. So it should fit on most 64 gigabyte SD cards. No problem, simple stuff. So there you go, um, final thoughts. Um, I don't see a huge difference going from the 32 the 64 from the 32 i mean i see there's a little bonus things um which is nice but the ruckage theme the the, the sounds the cody the pixel the arcade collection i believe is the same maybe a few more but i mean it's got pretty much the same guts i would say you know it's maybe a five to ten percent increase and um for the price difference i would you know from the sd card i would might just still stick with the 32. With that said, though, I mean, it is nice. It's nice to have that extra space on there. And this is kind of a big, uh, you know, it has a lot, a lot, a lot. As far as what is missing, um, to what is it, TurboGrafx CD, some more PSP, PSP mini games might be kind of nice. Um, PlayStation games, you can mess around with that some more. Um, but um, that's about it. I mean, you can go down back a little bit to Amiga and some other systems, maybe Dreamcast, things like that. But a lot of images don't have that. So for this typical image, it's definitely in there. You get the game and watch, you get the hack games, which is not normal, typical, if you will. Um, and then it does say Genesis, which is nice. So, you know, you can see here, it's got some good and some bad, um, the good, the bad, the ugly, right? So with that all said, uh, I'm gonna give this one a B plus, B plus. Um, I definitely like that it has the scripts installed on it. That's something really big. But the reason why I didn't give it such an amazing, like a A plus, is just because, as I mentioned, I don't see a huge benefit over the 32. You know, the 32 to me is is great, and I just don't see a huge thing. Um, I might like to see this as a 128 with some video snaps on it. Same theme with the JPEG and then video snaps, and then throw some more PS1 stuff on there, maybe some PSP minis things like that, I think would be maybe the next evolution of it. But with that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.